Hello and welcome back to the final mission of uh, the Saving Your Disaster campaign, Psionic Escalation. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look at uh, yet another legendary campaign where we're fin finalizing this uh, beautiful Saving Your Disaster run with the Guerrilla Ops mission in New Chile. It is time to get another major and uh, within the last mission I already uh, mentioned that we're probably in a pretty safe spot uh, as far as the campaign goes overall. I'll just recover this item here, make sure that everything's kind of in order. Maybe the Viper uh, will show up again. It's kind of that time and uh, the Warlock is not going to show up because we've just beaten him. So that might be the reason why it is very difficult. Doesn't matter really uh, for me. I think we overall have a pretty solid team. All we got to do is recover an item from a vehicle. We bring our top team as always with uh, the uh, missions here. I'm trying to not level or put in the psionic characters instead we're leveling everything else. And quite frankly, most of them here on Sergeant, uh, Lieutenant Sergeant rank will actually soon become captains, then majors and colonels. So it's going in the right direction. I'm pretty happy of uh, uh, about how the team has turned out um, as a complete unit and i'm pretty sure after this mission whoever uh, um, um, is playing the safe game so the um, creator of that safe game will have a pretty decent time uh, to finish the mission anyways let's jump into it and have some more good times before we call it a night and guess what guys we just landed we got seven turns landed on low ground but pretty much at the edge or border of the map the map is not too large which is good you can see it's kind of a, a moderately sized map there are a couple of containers that we can remote start and the only thing that we need to do is we need to get to this truck over here so Immediately, this would wipe our entire squad. <laughs> and this would level the entire block. So, fantastic odds to begin with. I am thinking, though... Here's the deal. Getting rid of a lot of the cover isn't necessarily the worst idea ever however i like the high ground here gives us just an incredibly good position against the enemies As you order, Commander. so let's slowly but surely start moving in wow i love the massive radius here. Good. Everybody in the SWAT will follow him. Kind of making a fast push. There we go. Lights out moves up. And really, if we're reaching this area here before the enemy can gather their troops, I think we will be in a really solid spot. Got a lot of remote startable objects right there. Bones just takes a good look around. Let's do that blue move and see what's available. Got ourselves a pack right behind uh, the truck. Okay. We could sprint up. Not sure if it's really needed to be that aggressive. Probably not. Templar moves into 
this position. Let's put our snipers into a somewhat solid shooting position here and here. And for now, we're just putting the rest right here. As for bones, let's just take a solid position here. Cut ourselves another pack over here. That's fine. They're not going to uh, aggro yet. And if they stand next to the car, that's a perfect start, uh, perfect position for a remote start. All right, the game is quasi begging us to please start. Nope, nope, yes. Here we go. Don't get caught up. And there we go. Well, guess what? We already killed one of the enemies before the actual mission even started. Two, four, six, seven. Well, that's not a hundred percent kill. I want to get some more focus, so we're softening him up. Jumping down. There we go. That's plus one focus. Let's take a look what the hack might offer us. Crit chance increased. Reinforcements, yeah, it's not worth it. Unfortunately, the precision uh, bony are really not worth uh, the effort. It would be great to get either of those spots. Realistically speaking, it's probably not going to happen. Moving to a solid uh, position over here, so we can also overwatch. And now it's just a matter of really overwatching. Got some parry, got some overwatch. A long watch will eventually trigger as soon as any of those enemies start to move. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He is burning for no reason. There we go. Still got a group of enemies over here. Fair enough. Question is, do we want to trigger the Archon or do we rather want to trigger those guys over here? One more round and we can remote start. That will only hit one though. I want to get a bit closer towards the actual objective because we only have four more rounds it's pretty likely that the reaper at some point will be the one who is oh look at that who is going to handle this uh we gotta definitely deal with the uh, viper for now this here should be sufficient to deal with that pack
could always use our rocket launcher. Double explosion will make short uh, process of at least uh, the captain. But we can also just wait for now. Yeah, we can't reach it without triggering them, so might as well use one of our snipers to trigger it. That way they don't have an exact read on our position. Alright, fair enough. Lightning hands to soften the mech up. Very nice. Yeah, we're not going to go for any of those enemies. We're just finishing the mech for now. Hair trigger, which is fantastic. It means we essentially can move over here. And thanks to the Dark Lens and just how overpowered that weapon is, it's another easy kill. Don't want to go here. We already know that that's going to trigger. Instead, what we are going to do is we're moving around carefully and of course still trigger. Too bad that was predictable. We do have a get uh, out of jail card though. Let's use the frost bomb and hopefully we can hit two of them. So the explosion of the car is going to be four or six points of damage. Can't really fully remember. If we were to use a rocket, if we were to use a rocket, we wouldn't hit both of them. If we were to use a grenade, that'll be four points of damage plus six. That's 10, not enough to kill them. They would duplicate. Don't want that to happen, of course. Good. let's see if we can somehow hit two of them with a frost bomb hilarious how we're just barely out of range can hit one can't hit two okay So from a perspective of using this rocket launcher, okay. That most likely will. Yeah, if we were to deal uh, seven points of damage, we're looking at what? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Uh, with seven points of damage, we would kill them, but that's wishful thinking. I 
I guess realistically speaking what we're going to do is we're just going to kill one of them with a Dark Lance. Good. And the other one, in a perfect uh, world, I would be able to hit both of them, but this is unfortunately not a perfect world. But it's fine. The Codex will most likely just teleport, uh, use a psionic bomb. The psionic bomb will deal feedback, since I think we've changed the resistance order meaning it will take quite a bit of damage. There is the Psionic Bomb. Hits four, might as well kill itself by doing so. One, two, three. And yep, there it is. Just successfully killed itself. We most certainly also need to move away and, by the way, finish the mission soon. But in the meantime, let's actually move in as far as we can. Probably should have uh, used him to deal the killing blow. One over here, we got a free reload. Thanks to the autoloader. And that Archon will have a really bad time. There we go. Lightning hands to almost kill him. Reload and let's just finish him. Superior scope is fantastic. Moving closer. And let's move over here. Reload, reload. I go where I am needed. There's an alien patrol nearby. And very soon we gotta finish this map. Hmm. Don't want to trigger the other pack yet. We're reloading and I'm hoping that they will move a little bit closer to the actual car. Two more turns. Let me just check the following. Do we have agency to, <laughs> holy shit, we can just hit all of them. Okay, we're, we're definitely going to do that. Next turn, we gotta do the hack. So this will most likely let them take <coughs> cover next to the car, which we then can remote start. Are you 
kidding me? That is beyond stupid. They have actually spotted us out. Good. Not the most elegant way of solving for it, but I think this here still will work. Right, we still got that um, gigantic heavy mech. Very nice, hair trigger would be awesome. Nope. All right, let's finish the Viper. Fantastic. All right, so what do we want to do? We got to get close. Moving up to the Archon. Mainly because with Blade Storm next uh, next to him, we will, we will be able to kill it. So parry right here. And since it's only two more turns, we gotta be aggressive here. moving over here I was already thinking about the next turn because we need to open and still take the equipment but we can do that with a uh, Templar hopefully he aims for the Templar Quiet. All right. Certainly took a beating there. Gotta play it smart now. So first of all, let's get rid of the Mac. Secondly, this here should be a, uh, give us at least agency to hack, if possible. Nope, the answer is no. All right, opening. If we move into shadows, we should have additional movement. Yes, we do. Says I am to obey. And that gets us into hacking range. The alternative would have been to just blow away the back part of uh, the van. I 
like the alien facility. It's not bad if we actually get it. Of course, would have been much nicer to have um, to have our specialist hack that. He would have had a much higher chance to be successful. Overall, nonetheless, pretty solid. Haven't lost a single um, soldier, and we got the Viper King on top of it. So that's the Viper suit as a reward right here. Fantastic armor.